this is a follow up for uh, my face milling on the lathe video um, I got some comments about this mill not uh, cutting on all the inserts and other people would like to know what the height of all the inserts is or in other words are they all running on the same plane so tonight I will try to do some serious testing uh, that might not be as much fun as just uh, toying around with this thing but uh, precision is uh, probably important to some of you so let's do this and uh, I will try to keep this short before I start I have visually inspected all these inserts and uh, they all seem to have some wear and uh, with wear I mean I can see some of the uh, coating is missing I can also feel some uh, roughness if I run my nail over the uh, cutting edge and I think number six has done uh, most of the uh, cutting followed by number five four three and two in uh, no particular order number one uh, almost looks like a uh, new only a slight bit of coating missing and it feels like number five has the uh, most damage keep in mind this is just an uh, observation by a total amateur let's run the lathe at its uh, slowest speed and measure the height of uh, the inserts I will be filming this at 50 frames per second so I can slow things down when editing 50 frames will also slow down my old computer but it should be okay for a short video oh that noise at half and hertz is a real bitch don't worry I'll edit it out that's only fair because I got uh, earmuffs I'm not sure how useful this uh, footage will be the uh, spindle seems to be stepping instead of uh, turning I guess this is going to be a hand job. I'm running the uh, spindle in reverse so the uh, test indicator can uh, ramp up on the uh, insert. I don't have a perfect angle but that looks like uh, 50, 15, number 5, 14 number four fifteen again number three fourteen maybe a bit less number two oh, that's a bit lower twelve maybe thirteen and number one eleven ish so it looks like I was uh, right about number one not having uh, anywhere it is a bit lower than the other five but they are all pretty close oh this uh, spindle has a bit of run out but that shouldn't matter for this test so now I'm going to see how much uh, axial play I have first I'm uh, going to push the uh, uh, spindle away from me and that's a bit more than 20 um, and now I'm pulling the spindle towards me or the uh, pulley twenty six maybe twenty seven 
so there is definitely some actual play in the uh, spindle but I guess that is needed for some uh, oil clearance but it might have an effect on the uh, surface finish now let's do a cut with these uh, used inserts and uh, then have a look at the uh, surface finish that was a uh, rough cut to square things up again and you can see that I uh, stepped away from the uh, lathe for a while now I'm going to dial in about uh, 3 tenths of a millimeter for a finishing cut here we go Oops. that's probably not good Let's have a look. I think it feels a little bit uh, wavy. That uh, doesn't sound bad. Um, next I'm going to uh, flip the inserts and uh, check the uh, height of the uh, pointy bit again. Well I switched all of the uh, six inserts and now let's uh, measure them. 40, 41, 42, something like that. 42. Thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four. This one is definitely lower. Thirty-four. Number one should also be low, uh, about 34, 35. Um, so lowest 34, highest uh, 42. So the delta between uh, high and low is definitely bigger. Let's try them out and see what uh, surface finish I can get. Well, I just took a quick and uh, light cut to square things up again and the inserts seem to be cutting better although you can really see that uh, I was uh, turning the cross light rather quickly but it doesn't look bad so now I'm going to take a 3 tenths of a millimeter cut using some oil and see what kind of uh, finish I will get Okay, so that uh, looks pretty acceptable, although the uh, previous cut had more uh, shine, even though you could uh, clearly see the uh, grooves. You know what, let's take another cut and this time I will uh, turn the cross light a little quicker.
Eh, about the same. Maybe even a little bit better. I don't know. Hard to say. Let's have a look at the inserts through an old uh, macro photography lens. Here's insert number one. Number two. Number three. Number four. And number five. And number six. Well, there are definitely some uh, little chunks missing here and there. Let's see if I can improve things with my uh, little flashlight. You need a lot of light for a uh, macro photography. That's number one. Number two. Number three. Number four. Number five. Number six. Number seven. <laughs> Here we go. Number six. A little bit more than forty. Five. 33, 4, 34, 3, 38, 2, 1, a bit more than 31, and number 1, That's about 32, a bit more. Okay, so the uh, delta is about the same, maybe slightly more. Um, I think uh, insert 2 and uh, 5 are almost on the same height. So uh, let's take out the other inserts and try it with only two inserts. I don't expect much from uh, this test. Because remember that number two insert, that's the one that uh, seemed to have a little bit of damage. But I guess I can always switch it out and uh, try again. Although there is not that much uh, material left before I start cutting into the uh, tool post. Don't want to do that. A bit too slow. Four others. Just like the others. Wrong, 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 wrong. I changed to another pulley configuration. Attempt number two. This time with the correct speed. It's definitely not cutting as nice as with the six inch. Okay, that's done. Six inserts feels a whole lot better when you're turning the ball handle. That's definitely rougher. Feels a bit like some of the chips got uh, smeared all over the place. I don't know. It's not a good feeling. Let's replace that number two uh, insert and try again. It looks like there's a bit of a high spot over here in the number two uh, pocket. 
I'll try and stone that off. I'm not completely sure if the insert is actually sitting on that. I think I got it. I also stoned the uh, number 5 uh, pocket. Here we go. Hmm. Didn't I do that uh, earlier? It is better, but it's definitely not perfection. But it's pretty good for my standards. Well, let's uh, remove one uh, insert and try again. I had to move the workpiece because the previous cut was actually already rubbing the uh, tool post over here. No serious damage, but you can definitely feel it. Alright, let's do some uh, pseudo fly cutting. Yeah, that sounds and feels very familiar. Hmm, that doesn't look uh, bad. Especially this part here. That's almost mirror-like. It does get rougher over here. It's maybe marginally better. Not a whole lot. So what we got here seems to be a uh, expensive fly cutter and well the inserts are definitely not as good as I thought they would be. Yeah, that's a shame. I'm hoping this uh, pretty much uh, answers everybody's uh, questions. Well that's all I got time for because I have to make a uh, anniversary video. Next week or next weekend I uh, complete my uh, third year as a YouTube wannabe uh, machinist.